spending hours among the flowers wherever you may roam in Queensland's garden city Toowoomba is my home Hey guys and welcome back to Hatch Life. Today we are going to show you Toowoomba. Toowoomba is just a 90 minute drive west of Brisbane and it is known as the Little Melbourne. It's got beautiful street art, beautiful cafes, awesome food culture and it's also known as the Garden City. So we've actually chosen this weekend to come because this is the first weekend that kicks off the Spring Carnival in Toowoomba where they have some beautiful like flower displays everywhere and special events celebrating the beauty that is spring and obviously the beautiful flowers that come with it. Also, little known fact, this is actually the birthplace of Mitch. I've never been here before. I've always given him a little bit of like grief for being born in a small country town, but I'm actually excited to check it out. So far, like we've just got here, but I've been looking around. It actually looks so cool. I'm super excited to uh, go and explore Toowoomba and obviously show you guys lots of fun and interesting things to do next time you visit Toowoomba. Time for breakfast. We've heard that Toowoomba has an awesome cafe culture. It's actually been compared to Melbourne if you've been there. They have really cool cafes. So um, excited to try one out and see how they compare. Yeah, there seems to be heaps of like really cool little alleyways and street art scattered throughout the city. So it's actually a really cool vibe and atmosphere. And as we walked to the gym before, we saw heaps of cool little cafes. Where are we going now, Henny? We've picked one out that looked really awesome. What was it called? Is it round up? Round up. Ground up. Ground up. Ground oh, up. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, it's in a little alleyway, so we're gonna head to ground up. So you check out this awesome artwork. Big elephant, it's lavender. This place is vibing. Let's go check out ground up. God, we ordered two loaded bennies and look at this, that's a lot of food. So it has Toowoomba baked sourdough bread, hash browns, thick honey ham hock and bacon, hash browns, eggs and hollandaise sauce. Wow. There is natural beauty scattered all throughout Toowoomba, but there are three main natural attractions that you need to check out. Number one, the Japanese garden. Number two, picnic point. And number three, the botanical gardens. And today we're gonna to show you all three. Starting with the Japanese garden. Point, a really nice scenic area that people like to come in Toowoomba and just over my shoulder here is a mountain known as Tabletop Mountain because it has that very flat top. How cool is it? Pretty easy to see why I got that name. The other cool thing about Picnic Point is the massive flagpole with the big Australian flag on it and we could see it when we were driving up to Toowoomba when we we're coming here from Brisbane. Very iconic. 
Okay, so now we've done the Japanese garden and picnic point. We're gonna head back down into Toowoomba and we are going to head to Queen's Botanical Gardens. And we have come at a very special time of year. Hanny, tell them what's on. The Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers. We are so keen to go check it out. It goes for the whole month of September. We're gonna go check out as much as we can and it's gonna be a good time. Beautiful and it smells so fresh. So here we are at the Botanical Gardens for the Toowoomba Spring Carnival of Flowers. And it is so beautiful. There's so many different types of flowers and the air just smells amazing. You'll have to come check it out if you're in Brisbane or around Toowoomba. Want to go and hit the town? Yeah, boy. Where are we going to go for dinner? Um, well, we're going to go to this cute little area we found earlier today. There's some good options there. Turkish, pub food. Um, yeah, we'll just have a look around and see what we feel like. But I'm feeling hungry, so yeah. And Mitchie's feeling thirsty, always. <laughs> what have we decided for dinner, Henny? We're going with Indian. If you're a Hatch Life follower, you'll know that's a solid choice for us. That is so good. Yum. How good is Indian honey? What was that Such face? A <laughs> You're a fiend, Indian fiend. Good. Here's the hot tip for you. We are staying just behind Ruthven Street, which is the main drag of Toowoomba, that main hustling, bustling area. We're staying at the Oaks, which is just behind, so it's on a nice quiet street, none of that main noise, but it's only a couple hundred meters. If you walk out the front door, you head left, you're about to find this funky place that we're heading to now. If you walk out the front door, chuck a left, chuck another left, you go to Ruthven on the main drag. Everything is like five minutes around. You're in for a good time. It's a great place to stay. Highly recommend. I also forgot it's right near the main shopping center where we were earlier today. It only took us what five minutes to walk there? How good's that? Walking distance everywhere, park your car underneath, good to go. When you walk down the main street of Toowoomba, you do see the original, beautiful, older architecture. But then below it, in the shops, are actually new, modern stores. So it's quirky and country, and we love it. So now we are heading to the famous Empire Theatres and tonight we are seeing a show. So excited. What are we seeing, honey? We are seeing a show about a Queensland woman who wrote the movie Mary Poppins. The books? The books? Oh, the books. I wrote... thought it started as a movie. Uh, fact check us. I thought it was books. Anyway, who'd have thought? I had no idea that the lady who wrote Mary Poppins was a gal from Queensland. So we're gonna go and see her life story in theatre form at the famous Empire Theatre. You keen? Yeah. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That is beautiful Toowoomba. We hope we've shown you a whole bunch of fun and interesting things to do and hopefully Toowoomba is now on your bucket list. As you can see, there's plenty of activities. We definitely found things to do the entire weekend. We were not sitting around bored. So if you're in Brisbane, obviously with the pandemic at the moment, we're low on places to travel, 
you might as well come to Toowoomba. It's only a 90 minute drive and it was well worth it for us. Oh yeah, and there's still so many other things you can do. There's the museum, there's alpaca farms, there's a whole bunch of other beautiful small towns just within like a short drive from here that you can go and visit. There's so much actually to do, much more than we first expected. And we love this place. We're actually we're on realestate.com looking at places to move here. <laughs> we love it here, so highly recommend. You should visit us. Uh, if you're from Toowoomba, let us know in the comments section what else there is to do and what you thought of our video. But that's it from us today. Bye. Till next time. Catch life out. Bye.